In this video, I want to briefly reflect on the importance of note making in the process of doing research in general, including uh, qualitative data analysis and data collection, as I feel that this topic is something that's quite frequently being overlooked. However, note making is an integral part of doing research, especially uh, data analysis and, as I'll explain in a second, something that helps us increase validity of your findings, which is, of course, quite important when doing research. So the first, maybe most obvious form uh, of making notes or situation when you may want to make notes is, of course, during uh, the data collection as you're interviewing your participants and perhaps you're just making some quick notes to yourself. Uh, then uh, straight after uh, the data collection, straight after the, for example, the interview, I like to record my thoughts. So sometimes uh, this maybe may have to do with what I think went right or wrong, or maybe some ideas for future interviews, something I failed to ask or forgot to ask, or I should ask, maybe something I don't have in my interview guide, but the participant brought it up, brought it up and, and I feel like I want to ask the future participants about this. So, so all these researcher memos, as they are called, or diaries, reflection journals, there are many names for this, they will help you, of course, keep the whole process more organized and also come up with interesting ideas, improve your practices. So there are many reasons why you may, may do this. But as I said, it will also be a very important part of data analysis. Again, uh, many researchers, including myself, like to keep uh, some sort of a researcher diary. I like to keep this kind of a diary where in the process of analysis, I like to constantly reflect on what's happening, where this is going, what I'm doing, why I'm doing this. So just to, to remind yourself to remember all these decisions and, and why you make these decisions and, and reflect on, constantly reflect on the data, sometimes reflect on what I think is happening, what I think may become a theme or a finding. So, so anything that comes to my mind. This is not something you absolutely have to do, remember, but it's something that you may choose to do if, if you are this kind of a, a learner, a visual learner, somebody who likes to have things in front of them. But then uh, from this more uh, methodological or academic or research point of view, not this personal point of view or point of view of your personal preference. Uh, doing this will also be valuable for, it's a form of uh, keeping audit trail. An audit trail is basically a trail, a record of your decisions, of what you do in your research. And, and keeping an audit trail is one of uh, the known ways to increase validity uh, of your findings. I talk about validity in research in a separate video, but this is one of the ways, keeping this audit trail. And again, note making is one form, one way to achieve this. Uh, so essentially one way to increase the, the validity of your findings. Sometimes what people do is also reflect on, on your expectations and assumptions about the data. So early in the process, as you either begin the analysis or before the analysis, or maybe sometime, throughout the analysis in the early stages, it's sometimes useful to record your thoughts and assumptions and expectations. So what you think you will find in your data. And doing this helps because again, uh, this not only helps you stay aware of uh, these expectations and assumptions throughout the process, which is important, acknowledging your expectations and assumptions will help you control these assumptions. So again, will help you avoid researcher bias, will help you increase the validity of your findings. But then what people like to do sometimes is also to revisit these notes afterwards or towards the end of the process of data analysis, again, to see how close maybe they were and their initial expectations. This may be used to validate their findings, validate maybe a model they created, because you can also do that in the early stages, create a provisional model of what you think will happen. And again, this may help, uh, reflecting on this later, may help you validate that or see how much of it is your uh, expectation and assumption, how much of it is what you actually found in the data. So, so that's just another valuable way of just being transparent and controlling your own uh, assumptions, controlling your own, your researcher bias. And finally, even writing about the findings uh, or writing any other section or chapter for that matter is, is something that uh, in that process, I like to, to resort to note making again. So of course, as you can imagine, you can, you can uh, write down any ideas, drafts, 
things like that. So that's that's pretty obvious, I would say. But uh, I also like to to do what I uh, what is called uh, free writing. This is something again I discuss in another video, which is a form of note making. It's just writing without concern for grammar accuracy structure but it's just something that helps you uh, uh, pushes you forward helps you develop writing it helps you overcome writer's block as well so so that's another way in which note making is essential so as you can see it starts at the very beginning and continues throughout the whole process throughout data collection analysis throughout writing down uh, your findings so so in that way note making is crucial it's an essential it's an integral part of the whole research uh, feel free to uh, to comment on what you think feel free on uh, to share your ideas to share how you use maybe note making and how it helps you in your research